going on everyone? It's the old gaming blog here, bringing you guys some uh, Black Ops 2 gameplay. And the reason I'm putting this class up here on the screen right now is because it was requested by a subscriber, Mr. Is No Good. And uh, I hate ballistas, <laughs> I hate snipers to be quite honest with you guys. But um, feel free to suggest any class you guys want me to see, to see me play with and I will definitely do a video about it. Anywho, let's move on to what I want to talk about in this video which is zombie games. Now, many of you might know, uh, especially if you look at my channel, that I'm a huge zombie fan. I played, I have tons of gameplays of Resident Evil games, which I played nearly every single one of them. I have uh, Left 4 Dead, uh, Dead Islands, and God knows how many other zombies games I have in my um, uh, in my YouTube channel. And I just generally love zombies games. But there hasn't been one zombie game that I said, you know what, this is a perfect zombies game. This is you know exactly everything I wanted to, or one that I just focused on more and I, although I do zombie weekends um, I honestly just just wanted to focus myself on just a uh, you know a really good zombie game sadly enough I haven't found it yet um, although I'm still waiting for that Island Riptide to come up which I think hopefully will save the zombies genre a little bit more um, the latest zombies game that just came out, and it didn't come out in Europe yet, was The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. I'm going to talk a little bit about it, but I'll make a zombies game on the weekend talking more about it. Uh, I don't want to rant too much on this video. And that game is just horrendous. And I mean, it is probably, and I would go as far as saying this, the most horrible zombies game ever made. Um, the game looks like it hasn't been finished. And it looks like it's been rushed to the extreme and it's been just very very poorly made now if you guys want to see more about the game and see how bad it is I'll leave a link in the description for a video from Total Biscuit it covers the, the whole badness of the game I'm not gonna repeat him uh, I'm not gonna you know do a copy of it I'll just show you guys his video it's way better than anything I would have done so I, and I don't even want to play that game right from everything I've seen I don't even want to uh, not to mention that the game costs fifty dollars which is probably one of the most expensive horrible games in history fifty dollars that game is not even worth ten dollars you know that's so bad it is when the war z came out i said well this is the worst you know possible game that can ever be no actually the walking dead survival instant can be worst i never thought there would be a mo most horrible video game than the the war z but the walking dead survival instinct managed to top it up somehow um, the game is just a huge mess. Stay away from it. That's that's what I'm talking about. Um, moving on, there's uh, there hasn't been really a zombie game that I would, you know that I would like to, to say yeah this is this is the one zombies game that I really would like to see. Um, sadly, but there hasn't been many many horrible ones. Um, the War Z, the you know the Walking Dead survival instance. Don't get confused with the Walking Dead's by Telltale Games. That was a good game. That was a good zombies game. However, it was... Um, I've, I've played a demo and I've seen some gameplay because I, I just never really got the game. The game just, you know, wasn't good enough for me to get because I really didn't want it. Um, but I, I have seen some gameplay and I've obviously played a demo which is in my channel. I can leave also in the link in the description. Um, and that game uh, was good. It was a good game. It got Game of the Year by a lot of people. But the problem with the, with that game, uh, to me, it was at least that um, it, it it seemed like this is the thing with that game. It got half and half. Some people say it's the best game ever and and gave it great reviews. Other people say it's like an interactive movie, which it is. And I guess I'm on the parts of the people that think it is an interactive movie. Freaking hit markers. Um, it is an interactive movie, and it it wasn't really that great in my opinion could have been a little bit better there, there's some things that could have changed but it wasn't a bad game not at all it was actually quite a good game but this one this this you know this walking dead survival instinct is first of all it's been rushed and i honestly believe the full game isn't even that's not even I, I, it's hard to believe that that game is the full game because it's been rushed and it's incomplete till you know you there's already playthroughs on YouTube um, with the full game and it's like three hours so there's there's you know several videos of, of the game that that the game spends in about three hours long which is ridiculous um, 
So yeah, the game is, is incomplete. It is a huge mess and it's been rushed and, and just generally not done very well, in my opinion. So, um, in light of that, I just think, you know, I, I don't know how, why, who put that game out there. You know, it's horrendous. It's horrible. It's even worse than the War Z. That's That's how much, you know... That's how bad it is. And the worst part is, it was actually published by Activision. The same people, you know, from, from Call of Duty. How the hell c would they allow that to happen? I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't want to rant too much about it on this video. I will most likely will do on, a, um, on my Zombies Weekend, which I want to expand to more Zombies Weekend. Um, I want to actually continue on playing the uh, Dead Islands, even though Dead Island Riptide is just around the corner, which... I do have somewhat high hopes for Dead Island Riptide, to be quite honest, but I kind of know what to expect because it's going to be just like Dead Island, but, uh, you know, kind of a fixed uh, version that, you know, that we always wanted to see on Dead Island. So all the, the Dead Island um, issues that it had, it's kind of going to be a fixed version of it, um, hopefully. And uh, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I have somewhat high hopes for Dead Island. Oh, and the reason why I haven't played DayZ or anything like that is because uh, DayZ is a mod, it's not even a full game. So, I don't I don't particularly like uh, playing playing mods or I would have to get Armor 3, which is, I don't... Yeah, the, the game is, isn't isn't there just yet. It's it's excellent. It, it You know, it, it did brought a new concept into the play that we should definitely explore more but i'm waiting for the daisy to become a standalone game and when it does come it's his own game uh with all you know the the fixes and stuff that we always wanted to see then i will definitely uh focus more on on that game but at the moment i don't think it's worth it uh, not to me at least so anyway guys that's it for this video um thank you for watching if you watched this long let me know your opinions on comments on the uh zombie games genre and how you feel about it but that's been the ultimate blog peace